Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and welcome to the shortest tutorial you'll ever watch in your life. So we're continuing from the last tutorial, which we had this thing where whenever we press spacebar, the RPC sent, but if the client wasn't connected, it didn't actually get it. So in this one, we're going to show you buffered RPCs. What a buffered RPC is, is the server holds on to that RPC call, and then whenever someone joins, it sends it out. So if we buffer four or five or six RPC calls, they all get piled up and whenever someone connects, it just sends all of those RPCs in order to that client and the client can execute it. So to do that, we change the receivers from receivers.all to receivers.allbuffered. You'll notice that receivers does have a lot of other options in here that you can select from. You can explore those, we'll explore those in later videos, but for now, we're gonna use all buffered. We're gonna save this, jump back to Unity, make our build the same way we did in the last video and we'll see what happens. So here we are, we're gonna do the same exact setup as last time, I'm gonna hit play in the editor, but I'm not gonna connect. And then over here, I'm gonna host, I'm gonna press spacebar three times, one, two, three. If you remember last time when I connected, it didn't get those three. In fact, I'm gonna do two more just to make it a little higher. And now I'm gonna connect, and you'll notice that it is all the way up there this time, and that's because all of those RPCs that we have pressed spacebar before to send they got queued up and when the client connected it sent all of them in order to the client and now it's in the same position because it actually executed all of those rpc calls really quickly as you noticed so that's it for the buffered rpc tutorial that's basically what buffered buffered rpcs are go into the docs and check out how you can clear out RPCs or replace them. There's all kinds of fancy stuff you could do in there uh, that we can't really get into the nitty gritty in this video because it would just go beyond the scope. So thanks for watching. And uh, up next in the next video is going to be a little bit of a combination between the fields and the RPCs and how we can put them together to do interesting things. So I will see you in that video. And thanks for watching.